Yo, yo. Yet another boxing break. Another one. Yeah, I mean, salute to everybody who's in there. The comments, the passion. Yeah, the agreeing, disagreeing. I appreciate it regardless, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you kindly, man. Yeah, 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 we yeah. love boxing, man. We we supposed to have uh, different opinions on certain topics and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. That means engagement is driven. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got another it was episode six of the boxing break. Six. We back here again. You know, we got more boxing news, man. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's always something. This week ain't crazy, crazy heavy, but it's a few things that caught our eyes, man. Uh, one of the things off top... Uh, it's rumored that Earl Spence and uh, Crawford, uh, Terrence Crawford two, may not happen. At least not 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 in December. Really? Because okay. the, I don't know. Oh, so me game. Yeah, I didn't see that. So uh, according to the rumors, um, Terrence Crawford is agreeing that because you know the stipulation was the winner. You know, t- uh, what's the name? Could, uh, Earl Spence could enact um, enact his uh, rematch clause. Yes. Yes. But. Yes. The agreed upon weight is chosen by the winner. Mm. So at first, you know, they say in terms, you know, because Terrence Crawford was like he willing to go to one fifty four, yeah. but Terrence Crawford it, it, it's alleged that he's saying, yeah, you know I mean, it's got to be at one forty seven now. I mean, and you know, Earl Spence ain't trying to come down to one forty seven, dog. Yeah, you not just, again, yo. yeah. Not you again. can't be get on your not like this. Not like this. You know, I feel like it don't matter which way. I just don't think I don't, especially yeah. not back to back. It's nothing he yeah. can learn. It in might that not time be the period. best move. I, I don't. I, I, I've, I've said this. I think he should go to one fifty four. Have maybe two good fights look good. I felt like at that point, what's the name would honor a rematch with him down the line. I don't. I think he would be willing to give him a rematch down the line. I think Terrence wants some other fights potentially that it garners some some more money. Mm-hmm. That's why he's like. He don't really. He want to force him and say, "Hey, man, if it's not one forty seven, we not fighting." Because I want to do some other stuff. And he's alluded to that. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But um, I think I think what's the name should work on some stuff with some other fighters at one fifty four. Like he should, and then try to get Earl back that fight. Remind, also, rushing back into that fight is yeah. it might be worse, dog. Like, and you got also sometimes check your ego. Remember that you're a great fighter. You got to be reminded that by beating niggas up. Like, yeah, you don't want to com- go back into a war like fights. that. Yeah, like, yo, get, boost your confidence back up. Because I really didn't put Earl against... I, I mean, I put Earl against anybody prior to the Terrence Crawford fight. Like, I feel like when you get outclassed like that, you got to get your confidence back. Yeah, that's that's a lot of times that has to happen. And I feel like... Like I said, I said Tyson Fury, even though it was a, a draw the first fight, he they readjusted before they fought... Uh, um, Deontay Wilder the second time. Mm-hmm. They took like two fights in between, if not mistaken. One of them was ugly. One of them technically, I spoke about this. I yeah, think maybe off the pod. They should have stopped one of them fights. It was a dude, yeah. it was an ESPN fight, and he had a cut. And normally the fight gets stopped mm-hmm. for a cut that bad, but it was Tyson Fury and they gave him a chance mm-hmm. to, to, to keep fighting rounds. No, you did bring that up like episode. And it was a nasty yeah. fight. It was a tough fight. But anyway, he had chances to work on some stuff. He had a uh, new trainer, he worked on it, and I'm like, there's nothing wrong with that, yo. Like, there's nothing wrong with working on some things. The first fight, get a solid, of course, you don't put him in with no bums, yeah, because that's not helping him either. Yeah, that's you, you put him in with a solid guy, though, that you'd be like, okay, if he should be able to beat him. If he can't beat him, then it's a problem for real, for real. But like, to get him some work, have him work on some stuff, and then you throw him in there with another good guy, or like a legit, you know, an even better fighter. Um, and possibly somebody for a title, you throw him in there for a title fight in the second fight against a fighter who's you know. Just holding one of the belts because they're going to more than likely strip Jamel of everything because I don't see him coming yeah, back down. Yeah, like so, have him fight know. for a vacant or something like that. This is yeah. like kind of how it goes. And then you know maybe he work on some stuff and then go for it again. You know mm-hmm. he probably gets beat. He might might get beat up again, but just rushing into it, I, that fight can get nasty. Real, I don't fast, think so. he should rush into that. Like because yeah. at first I wanted the 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 movie. Uh, Rocky. yeah, come back. Uh, yeah, eight <laughs> months later and really beat the nigga, but it's like. It really don't make sense because we watch boxing and we sensible like to be outclassed like that. You got to like, it's not, it's a lot more than one thing yeah. that's causing you to get beat that It wasn't bad. a flash knockout. Yeah. He was getting beat from pillar to post yeah. from round two to the rest of the way. Like. And when a nigga can uh, beat you up, pause inside and outside, like, yo, what can you do? Like, because yeah. I was expecting him to smother his uh, jab and just be beating his body like how normally Earl do. Like, because Earl never... 
not never, but Earl usually in the early rounds, like he be kind of feeling it out. Then he just get chippy and just start yeah, fucking yeah. people up. Like, but well, they said their plan was to take away his jab because that's how Earl gets inside early in the, He controls you with the jab and stuff like that. They said once we took that away, they already knew like he not faster than us. They was like they I'm, they believe they were stronger than him and they proved that night. And um, they're better counter punches, so they're like if we take away his jab. The rest of the fight is over, so it was yeah. a smart game. It's like the old Staples commercial. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Facts. I mean, I mean that's how it was. Yeah, bro. that shit made me mad, yo, because yeah. I, I had my bread that I didn't bet on uh, Errol Spence. So, uh, Crawford, I think, and like I, I said, I was going, I was alluding to it, but this is what the part of the rumor, and I b- believe this is the reason why he's trying to make sure Earl doesn't accept the fight. By making it 147 because he keep talking about the Canelo and, and Jamar, Jamel Charlo, but I really want they believe he wants Canelo even mm-hmm. more. So I believe he will yeah because it's a massive fight. And I, at, like I said, I, where though, like it's 154, right? They supposed to fight at what Canelo? If they fight? No, he said he was going go up to 168 to fight Canelo. Oh yeah, 168. So I'm like, I think he really would do it for for hell, I'm a mad bread. But did you why see? Why not? Why not? He 36 or 38. So or whatever, Canelo was so. like, oh, he said this maybe a couple of weeks ago. He was like, oh, all he's or something like that, like a depressor, maybe about a week and a half ago, maybe somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. He was like, all he fought was basically like uh, Earl Spence, which everybody's got to stop that. If you look at his re- resume, he has fought good fighters. Yeah. Uh, and but, um, stop playing. None of y'all niggas fought somebody better than Earl Spence, yo. Like a lot of people haven't fought niggas better than Earl Spence, yo. So, so I think earlier this week he uh, Crawford because Crawford been saying stop saying all that oh yeah I need to stop saying that but Crawford he punched back and said yo Canelo all you fought was Triple G yeah. <laughs> that's what he said now we don't have to agree with that because Canelo's resume is pretty stacked I mean if you want to start I mean he didn't beat him but he fought Floyd so you can go through all no, the fights no if we being real though but he like, was because the, the Floyd was like damn near he was like back, uh, though. like on some shit like where we didn't expect him to win. You feel me? And a lot of people expected him to win, Mike. I did. <laughs> All I, be, I, I didn't think my, my litmus test I, is the basement. I had Floyd at my people's clearly, crib. I think you were there. Thought, yeah, I think you were win. there. I feel like everybody was there, and I was the only one out of like probably like fifteen black people. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, Canelo pretty, uh, was, different odds. He's gonna lose on footwork, and that's yeah. basically what it was. It was the he footwork. Fucked him he, up. He that he shit blew me so bad. I was yeah. like, I don't care how strong he is. Like he, uh, the footwork is not gonna be there. Floyd's mm-hmm. not going. You got. I'm like, if you if your whole thing is gonna be trying to be Beat Floyd with a with a with a big shot here and there. It's not gonna happen. Um, of course, we all speak about it. Canelo clearly learned a lot after that fight. Yeah, the Floyd fight. Yes, he did, and became a much better fighter. But at that moment, timing is everything. But yeah, yeah. I mean, he said, "Yo, you ain't fight nobody but G, but Triple G." And I'm like, now they starting to the little thing. We got the yeah, fight coming up next week. Picking with each other, and shit. Yeah, picking yeah. the wounds. It would be a massive fight. It would be a massive be fight. Massive fight. Sixty eight though. I just I. Cause That's I also That's I just lot. wanted to be fair for That's Terrence lot, Crawford, though. yeah. Like That's I wanted to be fair, <laughs> like yo, nigga. Because my thing is this. That's I like believe- it, man. When he fought like uh like the the dude that was like way bigger than him, it was like a heavyweight dude that he fought, and it's like, bro, you like. Khan, like I said, Khan when he came up and fought Canelo at middleweight, yeah, was, was able bad. to do he a few died. things. But he got caught with the shot. And everybody knew it was going to come. It was only yeah, a matter of time. He was like, he's going to get tired boy, and get caught. But caught. he was able to do a few things early and not like hurt or really cook Canelo. But he was able to get around and slide. And Canelo was trying to trying to get his rhythm. And the jab was in his face. He was doing a few decent things. And, of course, he got quick hands and combos. Mm-hmm. I feel like Crawford's like, yo, I'm much better than him, yo. And the thing with Crawford is if he just watched Floyd, he could possibly pull off some crazy stuff. But... He get hit with good, really good with a nice shot. Yeah, it ain't nothing he gonna be able to do about yeah. that. And like, like that chippy shit in the inside, like with Canelo, like nobody. Canelo's actually say he counter don't hit hard. Yeah, nobody yeah. say he don't hit. So hard. he's bound to get hit at some point in that yeah. fight. He's not gonna go through that fight unscathed because yeah. that's not happening. So yeah. it would be interesting. Um, but his whole thing would be avoiding a crazy shot within like the first eight rounds. If he does that, if he, he can win. get to the eighth round. I wouldn't even say I think that well, fight. With Canelo with age now, and if they at sixty eight, we gonna find out a lot after this next fight. Yeah, I'm like, yo, honestly, like if he could, if he could get Canelo gassed after like six rounds, because that the one that what showed me some weird shit, and I love Canelo, 
But that Bivol shit, like, he was tired by, like, the second round. He always get tired, though. But, I mean, he what just, was that, 170? He was like a bigger, and, and, and what? a man who was a good boxer as well. Yeah, With power. Went, like, down, and it's just like, yo, you shouldn't be yeah. that tired, yo. Like I said, I think... I, and Ryder, he looked tired again. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, bro. Yeah. But he always perk tired, up. though. Like, no, I was about to hit that nigga with the how high. Buck up, Bart. Yeah, that, that was a tough physical fight. That's why... If he he won though if he's, he definitely if it's won any residuals with no no weird shit against from Ryder it and what's the name rises to occasion this fight can get real interesting but like I said Terence Crawford believes like Terence Crawford's like we're either the, we're the same height roughly I could be possibly taller than him my arm reaches longer than his I'm faster than him I got better footwork I think he really looked at that fight like yo as long as I don't get cracked he can win because I know we I believe in Canelo. Him. I still believe in Canelo. Yeah, I mean, you got to favor. You would with have the to, Charlo as well. You would have to favor Canelo in that fight because of, we, we're going to see this next fight also because mm-hmm. Canelo is getting up there. He's and he has fought a lot of and really I feel good like fighters, he just be though. doing a lot of shit, he's sort of which I don't knock because he's getting money. Yeah. But like once you're not like up supremely focused on boxing, no, boxing no more, it's kind of get weird. Yeah. So and you know Bud would be super super locked. Yeah, he's gonna be boxing boxing mode. Very locked in yeah. for that fight. Like they not on his Adonis Creed running on the beach with sandbags, he gonna be like, uh, dragging the the parachute too. No, 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 no. He gonna be like uh, 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 Jonathan Major's character in the uh, Diamond Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> with the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> going <up> the ropes. <laughs> They're gonna shoot the montage. That's what he's doing. Yeah. All access gonna be. Locked in, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I could see that happening. That would be fire, actually. Nah, it, I, 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 it'd be dope. The niggas would pay. They gonna charge an arm and a fucking leg for that fight if that happens. Mike, we, we gonna pay. Him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they but that's gonna be the first one they bust niggas over the head. Have with a like, really good pause, undercard, but like one twenty five to like one fifty. Just they have gonna a, go crazy. Have a really good undercard because if let's just say Terrence does get caught early. Mm-hmm. At least like have a, some some good fights in between. At least have the co main yeah be at least a really good fight. Yeah, we need like Jerron Ennis beating the nigga. That too, or we like, need yeah. or we need Caleb Plant Caleb versus Plant. Jamal Charlo. Nah, not even uh, uh even Ooh. even uh my man's yo Xander Zayas fought. Uh, nah, nah, we need a bigger we need a bigger fight. bigger name. He's he's bigger he's an excellent fighter, but we need. But a, I mean, for undercards, yeah. if you gonna give him no, I'm talking under, about the code though. The code, the code. Right, right, yeah, you know, just in case they don't want to spend name. money on a bunch of what's the names, at least yeah. have one more good, really good fight before that. Um, yeah. So, but uh, <laughs> well, matter of fact, I'm gonna talk about Thurman and Steve, uh Boots. You heard. Finally, Thurman was like, hey, man, if he can't get a champion, you know, that Boots fight might be on the I table. think that would be great for you, Boots. I think it's great for both I think ones. that would be great but for you, But definitely for Boots. Definitely. For I boots. think that would be great for you, Boots. Excellent. And I believe in you in that fight. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, you got to count uh, Keith Thurman's age. If you sit around saying your shoulder is bad for three years as a boxer, like, that's a large portion of your career. He getting older now, Keith yo. Keith Thurman going to start... Keith Thurman gonna start getting tired. Yeah, he gonna beat the shit out of bro. And it's gonna get nasty. Yeah, the way he was on via, yo, that nigga was going crazy. He he straight slow mowing. If you go to the body, we already know what time it is. You start going to Keith Thurman body. Yeah, he gonna beat him up bad, bro. But I like the fact that Keith Thurman said. My thing is, I think Keith Thurman just realizes the bag he blew. Hey, Keith he trying Thurman, get. yo, if you yeah. want to get Boots, who could be a a big time star, pay to play. Just mm-hmm. pay Keith Thurman. Of course, if he asks him for twenty million or something, I'm just like, come on, but but like, give him the bread. He's, he's what if what if he jump up and fight Earl and just get beat up for the check? Who? A Keith Thurman. I, we spoke about this. Earl's never fighting him. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You did bring that. Yeah. He's he's not my bad. This is a deep dive. He's box. never. He's I'm never. I'm just thinking about weight. I'm he's just thinking never about giving him that yeah, shot. Yeah, because he didn't give him the shot. Yeah. It makes sense. It's the reason he jumped. He he is the reason he had the layoff before the Terrence Crawford fight, which is another thing that was bad. Because they were saying that was the fight, that was the only fight they was going to get. Uh, that's the the word. It was the fight that they was going for, and that was it. It's either Keith Thurman mm, in between or not. He said, that. I'm not fighting Keith Thurman, that. y'all, under no circumstances, y'all, because of the stuff in the past. So The um, avoidance. But, yeah, you know I mean, I I want that fight next. I hope that's that the fight that nice. happens next. Pay Keith Thurman, man, cause, because at the end of the day, Keith Thurman he does have a name. He has to have this. So if you're going to put him in there to, you know... Yeah. Potentially catch that work potentially, and, Jerron, and, and have him be at this point. Him, have him be the step up guy. Just give him the bread because at the end of the day, you are gonna make your money because Jerron Ennis, Ennis is gonna be somebody at this yes. point too because he's yes. a talented nigga, yo. We, and we, we watched that fight together. I was like, this boy different. He yo. been nice. This boy different. I, I wasn't really tapped into him because I was nice. so uh, paused. I was so in, into like 
You remember Earl Spence, like behind Canelo, yeah. I'm straight team Earl, like yeah, yeah. until I was standing corrected <laughs> not that long ago. I was like, yo, this is making me sad. Like, I was like, yo, if it's not Canelo, it's Earl, yo. Yeah. That was me and Earl, I need you to uh to revive my hope, yo, honestly, bro. Yeah, you just gotta get back on track. You, yeah. You take, but I would love that Keith Thurman and Jerron Ennis yes, too. Yes, like we yes. need that. We need Please, that boxing. Yo, I, I would we need bro, that boxing. I would love that fight. I only got one more thing, man. You know, you saw Shakur Stevenson talk about Tank? Nah, what did he say? Because they uh I think he was on million dollars worth of game. Um, yeah, because they did an interview. It looked like they was inside the ring or whatever. And uh, you know how he's been saying, he was talking about, of course, the Frank Martin fight falling through and then some stuff with Devin Haney, of course. But then they was that talking Frank about. Frank Martin would have been good for us, bro. Bro, I'm so mad, yo. I'm still mad so, about that. The fighter, I'm, I'm, as we get closer to that fight, especially if it's, everything is signed properly and goes through, that other guy he's fighting is, is he's not as. He's a tough fight. He could potentially be a tough fight, I should say. I mean, we're going to talk tough about test? that later. He could be t- a tough test. <laughs> he's he's not going to win, but he's yeah. I mean, could be a tough we, we test. Like other fighters. Yeah. I'm I'm not going I don't want to say the other guy because I like the other guy. Yeah, I like the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the other guy, but he admitted he was a tough test. He was a tough test. <laughs> he was a tough test for another uh, but boxer. He was a tough test for Stevenson. But um, uh, he said, he said, listen, man. It's basically paraphrased like Tank. I can't make any demands with him. Like I'm talking with some of those dudes. He said he did, he did, he need to face a boxer right now. Facts. That is and a he's factual like, statement. He said honestly, I would love to fight to test my skills, um, but I can't make any demands to him. Yeah, you know I mean, hopefully yeah. he come out and reach out to me, and we can make it happen. He, he showed the utmost respect, and also like Bud spoke about Tank as well. As he should have though. He, not only is it the money stuff, they know that's a tough. That they ain't walking. That that's a fight. Nigga, everybody knows because Tank can box. And Tank got that power. Like. Yo, one thing I want to give to the boxing community, yo, regardless how you feel about people, yo, do not slander Javante Davis, yo. Yeah, I see people. That motherfucker can fight better than anybody in that weight class, yo. He's dangerous with knockouts, but he could also box. Stop being like, whatever your, your, your issue is with him, yo. Because I don't know. I can't think from the somebody that's not only, like me. The only issue people would have is... Now, the, see, people always got to be extreme with stuff. But he ain't, he hasn't fought anybody. That's that's not true. Yeah. But there are certain names that people would like to see him in the ring with. Um, and people would like to see him in a ring with a fight that people would either... Not necessarily he has to be the underdog, but at least be somewhat... Like, at least... 45 55 or mm-hmm. something like that. So yeah, yeah, even if he's the yeah, favorite, it, 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 yeah, yeah. That's like that's the only thing people want to see. And I can understand that. But you got people acting like, yo, if you watch boxing, yo, he's not like just a slugger, but he's he's technical, speed, good defense. Um he sets them traps yeah. so perfectly. And the power, it's like But all the niggas that nobody's some, walking through him, nobody's see, beating him see, easy. Nobody I mean my issue with those fans are though, like your favorite man's wouldn't fight Isaac Cruz. So yeah, definitely it like is. stop it. They stop yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, like stop it, yo. Come yeah. on, yo. Your favorite man. Cruz looking kind of phony we're not, now. He, but at, Isaac, at, at Isaac one, Cruz's one point, last nobody... performance was the worst one we've seen. But like before that performance, none of them the dudes that y'all say yeah. on that level would even. Try I think Stevenson that fight. was trying to get that fight, and then it, it didn't Shakur is the only one that tried. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hands in the pocket. Remember the dude. After the last fight, now people might, but still people will try to avoid it because Isaac, Isaac Cruz is kind of weird. He might be one of those dudes where he needs to be very weird, motivated yeah. too. That last fight, he might not have been motivated. Like yeah, because when he fought Gamboa, he was yeah. trying to punch a hole through. That's uh, why you can't do every fight like, oh, he fought and it looked like this and that. Because sometimes, like I told you about the, um, I'm, I spoke to you, this is before we was doing the boxing uh, break. Uh, we were just talking about boxing. I don't know if we talked about on pod or off. Um, I said, not the last fight with uh, Haney. The fight before that, and y'all, everybody was like, "Oh man, he didn't look that good. Haney should destroy him." I said, "Yeah," but at the same time, I said Loma probably wasn't as motivated for that guy because yeah, honestly, yeah, I mentioned, yeah. I said, I know a lot of people haven't seen that guy. I said that guy is actually a solid fighter. Mm-hmm. I said, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's gonna be as easy as people. I said, I spoke about. It. I said, No, you did. I said, you even, did. I said, if he underestimated him, it's gonna did. be a tough night. Like, and I think he went in there and wasn't as focused. I said, he goes into the Haney fight. He was gonna be focused. Yeah. And he was clearly focused. It was it was a, yeah. a very difficult fight. So 
But, you already know my opinion with that. And yeah, that's a whole nother another joint. Yeah, we're not going to even get but into Stevenson that. But Stevenson Tank, like, yeah. well, it's going to be very interesting to see what Tank does next because a lot of people, they're not waiting, but it's always that, hey, can I get yeah. that fight? If I can't get that, all right, then we could do it. But like, so it's very interesting. Like I said, I think the, the, the Esau Cruz fight would be next, but I also think there might be more talks about I don't know anything personally, but could be more talks behind, I would assume, because Cruz didn't look that good. So it's like, yeah. how do you sell that fight? If you'd have went out there and destroyed that guy, it'd have been easier to sell the the the, the, uh, the second fight. The other one was entertaining. It was kind of close and all of this type of stuff, but he did not look good in that last fight. So he didn't do a good enough job yeah. of helping to sell for the Tank fight, too. So I think they're kind of talking and trying to figure something out uh, for Tank's first fight in, in yeah. a minute. So we're going to see. Can I, can, I, can I ask you one last question yeah. before we close out? Since you're the boxing expert. I'm not a boxing expert. I just like boxing and watching. You're the most (laughs) well-versed on (laughs) our boxing platform. Uh Um, Uh-huh. Why do people think Tiafimo Lopez is the best in 135? Well, I spoke about it in the last one. Like, I don't think he's better than... I was I confused because, like, take... like the, the comments we were getting, like... Well, those are fans. They definitively know he's better, and I was like... Those are strong fans, and I understand how that's going. You always gonna ride with. But you gotta be person. realistic. I but ride I sp- with the Bulls, but like when Derek Rosen then was playing against like fucking OKC, yeah. Back then, I'm like, all right, like yeah. I spoke about it might. though. I gave T.O. His even credit. y'all. Back I said then. when T.O. when T.O. Is, is mentally locked. We've talked about a lot of things over time that he might yes, not yeah, be locked yeah, in. Yes, yes, when yes, he's yes. locked in, he has speed. He has power. He can box very smart. He's been boxing all of those guys that yes. that we like. They've all come up together and, and kind of took spark. all hard fights. Yes, and he's yeah, beaten. He all he's beaten the man. He's beaten Lomachenko. He's beaten. Uh, um, gosh, the last guy he just beat at one forty. I can't. I don't know why. Josh can't Taylor. Josh is, Taylor was a good fighter. See, now he did look a little like older. Josh but, Taylor looked bad that fight. Like I don't want to say. I mean, but he also made him please. look bad as well. Like, he did make him look bad. Josh Taylor was a champion for a minute. But now Josh, Josh Taylor Josh did Taylor look good to fight before that. Fight before I, that. I, yeah, I do believe he got the belt. He did catch him at the right time. He got the belt back, and Josh Taylor wasn't Josh Taylor. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but. Tio's a really good fighter. He, ha- he is. The only thing we always talk about is his footwork and mainly his consistency with his footwork. And that's why I wouldn't give him the edge overall. But I can understand why somebody, especially if you're a fan of his, would believe he's the he's the best all-around fighter in that in, in that range. Um I, I could believe anybody but Javante Davis. Yeah, Javante. It's crazy. Like, what are you uh, like now if you get to argue because anybody else, you could be like, they haven't fought anybody yet. But like Nah, I would I would put Haney above as well because of certain things and some his opposition Haney, his opposition is, is solid as well. I know people try to pull on his, but I'm like, dog, he's fought some really good. Haney fighters had well. one t- like fight that was close to even against uh, Lomachenko, oh, and I had Lomo in that, but like I still feel like he's I a better Haney. fight. I feel like yeah, I feel Haney controlled. We had a lot of like early multiple rounds. debates about that. Yeah, like yeah, that. We had multiple I, it debates. was a close fight though, but I still I had Haney winning it. I just, I, I don't just most like people don't know how to grade body. Like, yeah, yeah, that could have been something with me because I'm not uh, as well versed as you. But like, my thing was well, like won the, the seven to rounds. twelve. If you controlling the pace and you beating the guy up, like yo, and it's pretty even in the beginning. Like it kind of. This is what I'm saying. Like everybody's. I didn't feel like he won a definitive. I don't feel like Loma won a definitive round until like that looked clear until like ten or eleven. I don't believe okay. he was controlling seven through twelve because he lost the twelfth round to me. Haney, he to me, did lose the twelve. Round. He did lose the twelve. Like, so round. I don't, I don't, I, I don't forgot, get this whole. I brought he won that up too. I remember thing. I called you after I watched because I feel like yeah. I watched it and then you watched it like I watched an hour like week, after. No, yeah, I watched week. some of it and then I watched the whole thing a week later. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I, I called busy. you that night. Like nigga, yeah. this shit was crazy. Like matter of fact, shout out Kamal, my little cousin. Like yo, we watched that together and I'm like yo, I called you right after. I was getting, to, I got to the seventh and eighth round. I'm like, so when is Loma start? Like it was good and tough close rounds in between, but I'm like, when does he start this ass whipping that everybody's talking about? I, I wasn't, and then it got to I think it was the tenth. But he Loma, caught him a couple straight lefts, and he started. He he won that round like yeah. very definitive. That's what a lot of people want to admit, too. though. Like Loma isn't the same Loma he used to be since the To fight. But he always had had his flaws. He has, he have given but a lot like of back passes. then he excellent was going fighter, crazy. but he. People giving him back pack. then before At, T.O. He was, I was like, yo, you nobody know, could beat this nigga. You know, I spoke about it. There's an excuse every time Loma wins. Yeah. I mean, every, every time Loma loses. It's always an excuse, yo. I ain't going to lie. I was one of them dudes, like, back at the barbershop in, like, 2012. Well, I'm going to say, like, 13, 14, 15. Somewhere around that range. I'd be like, yo, when Tank first started knocking niggas out, like, professionally. 
I'm like, yo, yeah, like Loma might be the only one that could do something with my man Tank. Earlier, I, I was saying I that shit. I would have probably. I was straight up him, saying right? that shit. I'm not because you gotta front. remember Loma at that time, uh, especially when I was going to some of the fights when he was fighting in DC and stuff like that. Oh like yeah, that. he was on that shit. He was early. a younger fighter, and Loma was in his prime. Yeah, that nigga. So was yeah, going I would crazy. probably favor him, but at any point, yo, Tank, you know, you know, it can be night night, yo. But yeah, that's all I got. You got yeah. anything else? Boxing break again, Boxing man. Break, yeah.